Good morning, everyone. Grace here. I would like to share with you about explanation today. It's a story and a conversation between me and a kid in my speech therapy. So here you go. I don't know how to describe to him the difference between the hat and the cap. I don't know how to put the words in a sentence in a clear way to make him understand. How? to transfer the idea to his brain. I need the vocab. First, what is the protruded part of cap? What is the word? What is the definition? The obvious difference when compared with hat. So I search online, it's called brain. But what is visor? Then I say to the kid, cap has this brain, hat doesn't have this. I was learning to help him to describe the item, to understand the difference between hat and cap. In adult world, we don't have the equipment. Perhaps we had, and we forgot to access to this type of conversation. Because we all knew the difference without being explained. What is the difference between computer and laptop? Another question from him. Only encounter the kids, a group of different minds. They make us speechless. Frantically search for vocab to prove that we know a lot more than them. A lot brighter than them. Don't touch, it's dirty. I warned the five years old not to touch the floor drain. Because what? He asked. Because there is a cockroach inside. <laughs> Because what? Because there is the place where they live. Because what? Because if you touch it, cockroach will come out. Because what? Because you disturb them. Because what? Because they don't like to be disturbed. Because what? Because, um, I've lost my words. <laughs> to transfer the thoughts, to clear the doubt is not easy. So do I, a novel budding speech therapist who steps into working work for just a few years. Unsure of my direction, but to follow the path, keep on learning and asking and learning again. Maybe it might bother or stimulate people surrounding me, but it's it. It is a good work, I think. And everyone is trying best to give the answer to clear my doubt, either finding the right words or describe it at length, to dig into the deep and realize there's no end, and just keep learning together. So one question, what is your learning experience? It is, is it by asking or answering? Because for me, it lies always in the writings, in the readings, and then only in the askings. It is always about understanding first, experiencing, and then only come to the learning. So share with me. Hope you enjoy this podcast and hope that there is a message you can take away from here. And happy reading. Have a nice Monday. Goodbye.